I could go out in the forest, climb mountains, go hiking, go skiing in the winter and, and enjoy being outside, enjoy being in nature. But going underwater gives me a whole new world to look at. We're in beautiful Summit Lake, Alaska, at about 1,300 feet, roughly halfway between Seward and Anchorage. It's ice diving season, so we've got a hole cut in the ice. So we're looking at about 18 inches or so of ice right now. And, and the ice underneath is very smooth and very clear. The ice closer to the surface has snow and trained with the ice, so it's, it's white and it's opaque. It's almost like looking through a very, very thick piece of glass with some white translucent filters behind it. And in that thick piece of glass, you see things like bubbles. As the ice thickens, it keeps trapping more and more bubbles over weeks and weeks of time. Really interesting to look at from underneath. My diving history goes way back. I learned to dive when I was, uh, I think, 14 years old, and I was diving in lakes in Georgia that had terrible visibility, nothing to see, and I loved every minute of it. Well, diving in Alaska is a lot better than diving in Georgia, I'll give it that. Um, you know, di diving in Georgia is called, I call it desperation diving. You're only doing it to get underwater. So everybody comes from all over the world. They come to Alaska to see our mountains, to see our wildlife. Another side of that is to see our diving because we really do have fantastic diving in the state of Alaska. <laughs> This is the longest I've ever lived anywhere. I, I feel, you know, everybody wants to say I'm in Alaska, and I guess you're not truly in Alaska unless you were born here, and I wasn't born here, but I'm at home in Alaska. My son Ish, or Ishmael, he came to Alaska when he was only about four years old. I'm a big fan of the book Moby Dick, and it means a lot to me because Ishmael was sort of this seagoing philosopher constantly reflecting about life and having adventures with uh, Captain Ahab and the Great White Whale and I spend a lot of time thinking about what I'm, how I'm next going to get out on my, my next adventure, I suppose you would say. Ish sees himself as a big city kid. and You know, it's interesting, he's never lived in the big city, but he sees himself as a big city kid and he would love to move to New York or to Chicago or L.A. I definitely think Alaska can be a very tough place for kids, especially kids that are not real uh, enamored with the outdoors. Now, I, you know, he, he's, he's his own man. I think he needs to do what's right for him, just like I did what's right for me. Well, when you're ready. <laughs> All right. Oh, ready? Yeah, one, two. Right. More than anything else, I think I'm afraid of um, getting into a routine existence. It's just too easy to, to stop trying to do different things and to fall into a routine of a kind of a nine to five job or, or, or something like that. But I've seen that in other people that I care about, other people that I know, my parents, for example, uh, and I don't want my life to go that way. So I think if you're spending a lot of time sitting around worrying about whether or not you're happy, you're probably not. You know, it's more something that comes to you without trying. And if you're, if you're trying, it's just uh, probably means that something's missing. Alaska is kind of a blue collar state. For some people that translates into a redneck state, snow machines and guns and beer. But uh, that's definitely not the full truth. I actually find Alaskans to be very open-minded and generally very thoughtful people and also very well-educated people. Come here and spend a summer, spend a winter if you can. Get to know Alaska, get to know the people, spend a lot of time outdoors. It will change your life.